full screen or windowed full screen, perhaps the windowed mode itself, which one will give you more FPS but more importantly, fix stutters and FPS drops in games like Fortnite and Valorant? That is the question that I asked myself and to get a definitive answer, I benchmarked both Fortnite and Valorant to show you what to use to get the most performance out of your PC. Starting off with Fortnite, I decided to benchmark it using a replay to make sure that all the benchmarks were consistent and we got the actual results instead of the placebo ones. I also made sure to run multiple benchmarks to ensure that I was getting consistent results without any other variables impacting the performance. So for Fortnite, I first benchmarked the windowed full screen. And as you can see that we were getting around consistent 110 average FPS while playing an actual match at 1080p competitive settings in a fight scenario. The frame times were pretty consistent too, hovering around 8 to 9 ms for the most part and the input felt pretty responsive too. Then I restarted the game to benchmark the windowed mode and the FPS suddenly jumped to 125 consistently. And for the most part they touched around 130ish FPS during the fight once again within an actual match. The input response on windowed mode felt a bit delayed because I did test these in other matches while playing too. And then before benchmarking the full screen I had to apply a few tweaks to make sure that I was getting the most performance out of the full screen exclusive. Basically on windows operating system we need to modify the behavior of game DVR so that it doesn't interfere with full screen exclusive applications like these games. And we can get the true full screen experience. To do that I created a simple batch script that you can run to modify this behavior. You can download it from my website or from my Discord server, the links will be in the description. All you need to do is run this script as an admin and after that simply press any key to continue. That will finish applying all these changes and then you can close it. I do recommend restarting your PC after that just to make sure that all the changes are properly applied. Also in case that you want to revert these changes for some reason, you can do so by running the revert script provided here and it will revert all the changes back to the default values. But there is actually one more little thing that we need to do and I will show it for Fortnite but you can do it for any other game as well. So open the Epic Games launcher, then go to the Fortnite and click the three dots and then click on manage. Besides the installation section, click on this little folder icon and that should open up the installation directory. Then navigate to Fortnite game, then binaries, then Win64 and scroll all the way down until you can see the Fortnite client win64shipping.exe. Simply right click on it and then press properties. Then under the compatibility tab, make sure that disable full screen optimizations is checked. Then click on the change high dpi settings button and make sure to check the override high dpi scaling behavior and set it to application. Then simply hit ok and ok once more and you are done. Now here are the benchmarks for the full screen mode. Once again in the same replay of an actual match and the fight scenario, as you can see we were getting consistently around 120ish fps with the fps not dropping as much compared to windowed full screen and the windowed mode. The frame times were pretty consistent too with not many spikes at all. The input response here also felt the smoothest without a doubt. And finally here are the comparison for the results of many benchmarks that I conducted for Fortnite. And as you can see, the windowed mode did give us the highest FPS, however the 1% lows and the 0.1% lows are pretty bad compared to full screen mode. Especially the 0.1% lows in full screen beat both the windowed mode and the windowed full screen mode by a mile. From this comparison, you can also see that the windowed full screen mode performed the worst out of the three. So from these results, I would recommend you to play with full screen mode if you want to fix FPS drops and stutters since it does perform the best for Fortnite. Now moving on to the Valorant benchmarks, I ran the benchmarks in the range following the same path under the same conditions to make sure that the benchmarks were consistent. Starting with once again windowed full screen mode, we were consistently getting around 360 FPS with some noticeable drops here and there. The input response was pretty good though. Moving to the windowed mode, we were once again getting around 390 FPS to even 400 FPS with the FPS dropping quite a bit here and there and the input response being more or less the same as the windowed full screen. And once again after applying those full screen optimizations and tweaks, I benchmarked the full screen mode. So in full screen mode, we were getting around 390ish FPS and the input response once again felt the best on the full screen mode. And here are the comparison results for many of the Valorant benchmarks. As you can see, the full screen mode beats both windowed mode and the windowed full screen mode in not only the 1% and the 0.1% lows, but also in the average FPS. I had to rerun this many times and every time the results were pretty much the same. So for Valorant, if you want most FPS and no stutters, I definitely recommend you to use full screen mode. And if you want to boost FPS in your games, then use this free tool right here.